welcome to the final in my series of Marmite videos. Today's video, video is going to be about um, body armour. I'm going to be unpacking my latest D30 rated armour um, from Ghost, uh, which is the latest in lightweight uh, and slim armour, uh, which I'm hoping is going to make some of the clothing I wear way more comfortable and way more flexible when I'm using it. Um, so the armour I'm going to be focusing on is going to be arms, uh, shoulders, knees and hips. Uh, I'm not going to cover uh, spinal armour in this one um, for a number of reasons, one of which is I don't tend to use that armour. I'm also not going to be covering the hard plastic armour that you might use if you're a hardcore motocrosser or enduro rider. It's going to be looking at mostly the everyday armour that we use in uh, in our jackets and trousers for commuting, for trail riding, for adventure riding, um, and general motorcycling. Um, as a musculoskeletal specialist, uh, and having worked as an osteopath for nearly 30 years, um, I have seen a lot of injuries over the years, obviously, uh, and the most common condition that I'll be treating is gonna be uh, neck and spine, followed by knees and hips, um, uh, and shoulders. Those are, that range is going to be the highest number of um, body areas, if you like, that I'll be treating on a regular basis clinically. So I kind of know the kind of injuries that people can get and I know as a motorcyclist the sorts of injuries that can be generated just by riding bikes, uh, posture-wise and, and so on, but also uh, the knocks, bumps and falls that you can get and how they may contribute to um, problems later on. Anyway, uh, let's get on. We're going to be unpacking uh, the latest armour that I've just bought, seeing how it compares with the other armour that I've had previously, and we can look at how those two, um, two compare. So let's not waste time, let's go straight in there and have a look. Bye. So here we have it. Bought from Urban Riders. Haven't bought anything from them in the past, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I've got two sets. Two sets of shoulders, two sets of elbows, and we'll see what these are like. So instantly I can see they're an awful lot thinner and they weigh virtually nothing. Then over here, as a comparison, this is the, the armour I've just taken out of my uh, new Rooker jacket, which is a winter jacket. Um, but look at the difference if you compare the two. Much, much thicker. This armour is, um, obviously this is a shoulder piece, and you can see it, it takes up a smaller surface area. So it is designed to be a smaller piece of armour, but it's graded in exactly the same way. I don't know if you can see on the video here, there's some numbers on here, EN1621-1 2012. This designates it as uh, motorcycle armour, it's got the little motorcycle on here. It's for um, arms, knees, shoulders, um, hips, etc. Uh, its date of um, uh, registration as a piece of armour, if you like, or technology was 2012. It's rated to uh, low temperatures. Um, and I don't know how easy it is to see on here. Exactly the same grading is on this piece of armour. So it carries the same level of protection as this, although this covers a slightly wider 
area. But again, it depends what you're going to be using your motorcycle armor for. Um, I've got uh, different pieces of clothing. Um, I have um, an Oxford shirt, which is quite nice for riding around in the summer. Um, these kinds of um, ghost armor is going to be absolutely marvelous for that because it's going to be so light and easy to, to place in there and, and super flexible. So there we have it. That's, um, that's the end of the Marmite series. I hope this um, bit on armor has been useful. Um, just to reiterate, um, all of this armour is, is um, going to protect you from all kinds of nasty um, gashes, grazes, severe bruising and um, horrible injuries, but they probably won't um, protect you from a fracture at high speed. Um, the, most of this armour, in fact all of this armour here and uh, most of the, ar the other armour that you can buy comes in level 1 or level 2. Level 2 obviously is the more protective, it's more durable and has a slightly higher level of protection but level 1 and most of the D30 um, that I'm familiar with is level 1 and above so it's below the level 2 but not much so it's going to cover me for most of the activities that I'm likely to be, um, to be doing. So as I say that's the end of these um, Marmite series. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. I'm hoping we're just coming out of lockdown. In fact, today's Wednesday. Uh, we've come out of lockdown for motorbiking. Um, and I'm hoping I might get an opportunity to ride the new PR7 AJP um, 2020 version. Looking forward to that, seeing what it's like and seeing how it compares with the 2019 version. Hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.